What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. It's Saturday, which means we got brand new legends in the game. In today's video, we're gonna show you those cards, but I gotta admit it, they're a bit boring and they have been for a month or so now. And also, finally, we got a Redux pack offer in stores. We'll take a look at the Redux market. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. So yeah, let's go through the solo challenges. You know, if you watch these videos, or all of my videos are each and every Saturday at least. This is gonna be repetitive, my apologies, but there's always somebody that's watching one of my videos for the very first time, so shout outs to you if you're that person. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Each week you wanna play through your legend solos. These are going to earn you free cards, but more importantly, you're gonna get milestone stars. So if you go into each individual week, there's gonna be six solos, two solos, or two groups of solos uh, of three that feature the two set players for the weekend. And then once you beat those six solos, it unlocks a final challenge for that week. So if we go all the way down here to week number 23, and I believe this could be the second to last weekend of Legends. You know, EA, when they reveal them on Twitter on Friday nights, uh, will likely say this is the last Legend drop, but the Super Bowl is upcoming, right? So we probably maybe got two or three more weeks of Legends, and then after the Super Bowl, that's usually when Ultimate Legends come out, which is basically Legends, but a different color and better cards. So, you know, there should be the ability to unlock your second free Legend very soon, and what I mean by that is when you're beating these solos, again, you're earning the milestone stars this week we got rod smith and ronde barber and once you beat all seven stars or seven solos for that given week you go up to the milestone rewards every seven stars is going to equal one tier and every tier gives you a legend token you can earn 30 32 of these in total once you get up to 16 you can trade those in for a free legend non B D, but also no ltds are included in there but you can turn it into coin easily and if you've been playing through your solos since then you're probably getting pretty close i don't know the exact count because as you can see, I'm way far behind. But the good news is they don't expire. So you can go back and play these right now. But eventually, you're going to be able to get to 200 stars, which is tier 32, which will give you another set of 16 tokens to redeem for a second free legend. And I have to think we're probably two to three weeks away from that being done. Head on over to item sets, sort by the legend filter here, and you'll see the legend token exchange. This is where you can put those tokens in to earn a free legend of your choice. Again, non uh, BND, but also no L. LTDs are included in this one and as you can see I have 16 tokens this is still from that first set of 16 I have yet to redeem them I'm kind of waiting for the perfect card and this weekend again is just not it like last weekend Jared Allen Mike Allstott very boring the week before that Drew Brees, Terrell Suggs, you know, there's a better quarterbacks at the time, and Terrell Suggs is a pass rusher. Now we got Rondé Barber, who already has a team captain card, and, you know, I got a lot of comments about this yesterday. I'm just not surprised at this point. This is the third year in a row that EA would drop legend cards for people who have team captain. So if there are people that are, you know, rocking a Bucks theme team, this card now does give them the ability to use Rondé Barber, who's likely also going to have better abilities. We'll check those in a moment, uh, but also maybe fully upgrade two other team captains and now not have to upgrade Rondé Barber. So, you know, I, I get it. it it's going to be a specific group of people that want this card, but generally to the masses, everybody's like, you know, we already got a team captain. What do we need this one for? Rod Smith doesn't look too bad. I think he's six foot even, pretty good route running catching, and he's got 95 speed. But again, let's go ahead and take a look at abilities because at this point in the year, most of the cards that we're looking at, they're all going to play the same, guys. It's not like you're going to notice a huge difference for a receiver that has 93 catch versus 95 or 93 deep route running versus 96. Like, it's just not, you're not going to notice that much of a difference in the game here. Now it's all about abilities and what cards get the best discounted abilities. And that's how the game's going to play for the rest of the year. So Rondé Barber, though he is a shorter cornerback, let's see what he gets. Zero AP pick artist, one AP medium route KO. That's a pretty good discount there. And and then also one AP mid zone KO. So if you run a lot of man, this actually isn't a bad card. And I don't really think it's going to be overly expensive as well because he's on the shorter side. It's a set card. It's a non LTD. So that might be one I'm going to take a look at considering I run a lot of man coverage. And then we got Rod Smith, which again, I think the attributes are decent on this card. 95 speed, six foot even catch catching traffic route running all hits threshold so he's good to go there let's see what abilities he's going to get at a discount wide receiver apprentice for one ap that's actually huge that means no matter where you line him up the slot the outside he's always going to get those four additional hot routes 
and it's basically the same price as like a slot apprentice wide receiver. So I'm curious to see where his price is just simply because of that. Playmaker for 1AP, Slotomatic for 1AP, pretty good abilities as well. But I think wide receiver apprentice is the way to go. And I'll be honest, I got to, again, check the pricing on this one. But I may be willing to use my uh, my tokens on this card just because of that ability. Now, currently, I have Hot Route Master on Josh Allen, so I don't need it. But if I was able to or if I were to move on from that Josh Allen card, um, that would be a really good ability. And it also kind of bodes well for future cards. Now that one person has gotten that ability at a discount, more are going to follow, you know, over the next weeks or the month or so. Now we got the Super Bowl promo upcoming, which should give us a lot of cards as well. So those are your two set legends. The LTD is Marquise Pouncey. Very hard to get excited about a player that plays center, but let's see what they gave him for discounted abilities. He gets Nasty Streak for one, Secure Protector for one, Post Up for one. I will say, I'm not a fan of using any ability points on the offensive line right now, but Secure Protector at the center position is a great way to neutralize defensive tackles who have inside stuff. You can also double team them, but you know, when you got two defensive tackles, both with inside stuff on your opponent's D line, I'm not sure if maybe double teaming one of them and then secure protector on your center may be able to take the other one away. So it could be a good counter to that double defensive tackle inside stuff, which honestly is something that I rock on my defense. So those are the cards, not terrible cards at all, but just boring. And that's kind of how I felt about the legend promo for like the last month or two maybe it's because i got these tokens and i'm really wanting to use them and i'm just not seeing players that are worth it i mean we did get like a randy moss a champ bailey we've gotten some big names from the legend promo sean taylor was kind of recent as well but a lot of those have been the LTDs, which means the masses aren't really able to afford them. I mean, Champ Bailey, several weeks later, is still like a million coins. Randy was fairly expensive or inexpensive for a Randy card, mainly because Tyreek Hill was out at the time with the same speed and the Zero Chill theme team. So, I don't know. It just feels like the Legend promo and Team of the Week, there's just something missing. I don't know. It's just gotten too vanilla, too boring. They need to add a twist to it or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fix is, but it just doesn't feel the same. Saturdays, Legends used to be exciting, people were ripping packs all over the place, and it just doesn't have that feeling anymore this year, at least not for the last several weeks. Um, we do have a Redux Fantasy Pack offer, so we talked about it yesterday with the lack of Redux cards on the auction house. This is a big reason why. There was no specific pack that gives you Redux cards. Well, we got one, and I kind of figured it would be today. I checked yesterday. We didn't see it, obviously, in that video. But for $25, and is this worth it to me? No, not absolutely. Uh, but it's going to, other people are going to open this one up, so it's going to make the Redux market go up. So if you were looking for Redux cards, you're now going to be able to find them, hopefully. And also with this, if you had LTDs of cards that did get Redux, those cards are going to start coming down in price. That's why I told you yesterday it would be a smart idea to go ahead and sell those. So this pack for $25 basically guarantees you a 93 plus Redux card. You get two random choices. You get to pick one. And then you have another slot that gives you a 91 plus Redux card. You get two random chances or two random options. You get to pick one of them. So hopefully we see a big influx, not so much of the 93s, but those 94 Redux cards on the auction house. Because yesterday, when we checked this same exact filter, there was literally five 94 redux cards on the auction house now this is a you know a basic filter here but there's over a hundred i mean there's a hundred available but i'm sure if i sort by offense here now we're going to see just on offense alone we have a hundred items and these are just the 94s and if we go to defense i'm sure we're going to have a hundred nope only 70 items there but as you can see the redux market is finally a thing now you can go out and get these cards I, you know i think they could end up going up in price slowly as the day goes on because a lot of people are probably op opening that offer listing the card on the auction house and everybody's kind of undercutting each other so go buy these now you know again it's not guaranteed that they're going to go up in price but i wouldn't be surprised if they do so if you were targeting any it might be the time to buy thank you guys for watching i'm out of here my name is popular stranger peace